Top chefs Jean-Christophe Novelli and Matt Tebbit are in a clash of the titans. Now it's time to start the challenge. It's going to be a great competition. We are ready. They're competing to create gourmet grub that's also good for you. That's the one to win. There's a twist. The gastro chefs are being paired with clueless couples, where every mealtime's a menace. Oh! Cooking and eating healthily should not be hard work. I just need to get rid of churning out rubbish foods. In just one day, the teams have to serve up a two-course meal... Oh, man. ..at a real restaurant. Two more now, you and that is two it. more four plates ago. Oh. Crack this, and feeding their own demanding oh. diners will be a doddle. Four at a time, yeah, not three. 40 people vote on both dishes. That first plate there is a shocker. Leaving the chefs to face victory or vexation. Let battle commence. We're in it, so we're in it. Fighting talk from the Merrin family in Norfolk. That'll be Mum Sinead, Dad Andrew, and little uns Rosie, Alex, and Max. Hello! Our family needs help because we have a husband and a daddy that can't cook. <laughs> That's basically it. And a busy mummy who tries to do her best. Like many working mums, Sinead feeds her kids fast food she knows they'll scoff. Like her speciality, bangers, chips and beans. I'm totally reliant on anything in a packet or a jar. And when I don't have a co-pilot who can do anything, I'm flying solo, basically. It definitely sounds like I'm being stitched up here. OK, Dad, so what are you bringing to the table? My speciality, that is an omelette sandwich filled with honey and ketchup. Lovely. Run that by me again. Filled with honey and ketchup. Good. Ketchup and honey. Oh! My thoughts exactly, Rosie. Andrew does one dish of fatty food that even the kids won't eat. It is just disgusting. The Merrin family is muddling through on snacks and stirring sauces. Our family have a history of cholesterol and diabetes, so I just need to get rid of churning out rubbish foods and I just want to learn how to do it. One person who can do healthy food in a hurry is Chef Matt Tebbett, who summoned the Merrins to his kitchen. Ooh. Well, well I'm looking forward to actually making him an omelette, so if you'd like that. <laughs> Fear not, Matt. It's not Andrew's cooking you're going to have to taste. How are you guys? Nervous. Are you? Apprehensive. Why? Well, we're hoping that you'll be a little bit of our saviour in our little kitchen. So, really? Yeah. So, Andrew, are you a willing participant in this, this healthy road trip we're going on? Well, as long as I'm not doing too much of it myself. <laughs> <laughs> but, to be honest... <laughs> OK. I've warned him that his ultimatum for this programme will be to have one dish he can cook for me and that it will be able to hand to me when I'm not expecting it, and that will be heaven. Heaven? More like pie in the sky. This bloke's a no-hoper in the kitchen department. I'm a yeah. busy working mum, so yeah. unfortunately it has to be quick and easy. But to fix this family's cookery skills, Matt has to examine the evidence from this crime scene. Who eats this? Did you all eat this? Uh, no, this would be a very quick fix for the kids when they get in from school on an evening. Uh, how many quick fixes do they have uh, a <laughs> week, would you say? Uh, probably Five, six. Seven. Six? Yeah. Any particular type of sausage? Good sausages? Irish sausages. Irish sausages? Yeah. Quite fatty. Yes, OK. Mm. Point okay. taken. Nutritionally, in saturated fat terms, there's about 11 and a half grams of saturated fat in there. OK. Which is a lot. 11 and a half grams of saturated fat. That's over half a child's daily allowance. What kids eat now can affect their health later in life. Reduce the fry-ups and you'll keep their hearts healthier for longer. While Matt scratches his head over how to turn these kitchen klutzes into chefs, Let's go to meet this lot from Coventry. Bring it on! There's 12-year-old Todd, mum and bride-to-be Denise, and her fiancé, Mark. Hi! You know what they say about mum's tasty home-cooked food? Well, that doesn't apply in this house. The worst thing my mum's cooked is burnt steak. I'm not very good at it, and everything that I do cook, um, no, not very many people want to eat. It's, it's edible most of the time. Denise's cooking is less cordon bleu than sacra bleu. I've once attempted to cook tomato soup from scratch. Missed out the tomatoes. I missed out the tomatoes. To feed her family, Mum has a food philosophy. If it's out of a tin, box or jar, it makes the grade. 
In a bid to rescue the family's diet, Mark tries to cook with fresh food. Maybe he can save the day. I think that the full fat products that you put into the meals are there for the flavor. If you have a meal that's low fat, it there's something. something missing. Maybe not. This stuffed mushroom and cheese is loaded with lard. Mark refuses to cut corners on the calories. When you analyze it, Lazy it looks so terrible. So. <laughs> Hopefully, sultry chef Jean-Christophe can wean the family off their dodgy, stodgy diet. He summoned Mark and Denise for a boot camp in healthy eating before they walk up the aisle. Hello. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. Bonjour. How can I help you? You can show me how to cook better. Have you got children? Yes, I've got one son called Todd, and he's 12. No, when the microwave goes ping, he knows it's dinner time. It's not good, is it? And how do you feel about this? Ashamed, really. I have to say, I've got to the stage where I am ashamed. Mark's brought a sample serving of his stuffed mushroom with a uh, triple cheese. OK, it's time for me to try. Yeah. Right. It's tasty, except this has nearly 200 calories. This is only a starter. Just a starter, so it's, yeah. so it's a small starter, it I is, have to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah, it is, yeah. It is, no, it's frightening. That is frightening. It's a lot of calories in such a think, small yeah? Absolutely, yeah. proportion. You bet. Continue like this, and the family's fast-tracking to poor health. A diet overloaded with calories can lead to obesity. Reduce the calories, keep the weight off, and your family's hearts will be healthier for longer. You want to have the challenge? Yes, yes definitely. Okay. definitely. Yeah. He needs Therefore, to slim for the wedding. Yeah. But not just for the wedding, for life. Yes, true. JC and Matt need to train these clueless couples to do a service for 40 diners. First, each chef needs to demonstrate good food simply done. So, for the Merrin family, out goes the fry-up and in comes a sausage and bean casserole that Mum can whip up in the blink of an eye. So, for this, I've got the sausages. They're lean sausages. Matt's trick is to use lean sausages and healthy ingredients. Now, baste the bottom of the pan with oil. Then you're not using excess, OK? Then, Andrew, I know you're not um, the biggest cook, but I need you to just keep an eye on these. Hang on, Andrew, cook. This I have to see. Andrew's gone very quiet over there. There's quite a bit of smoke coming off this pan. No, it's all good. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. Nicely browned. They're browning, Andrew. That's what sausages do. Matt chops up a load of fresh veg. If you just yeah. lift those up and put them in the um, in that green pan. That's the most he's done in about 12 years. OK, so in this hot pan, yep. okay, no more fat. We'll chuck oh, in wow. the onions and the peppers. And he instructs Andrew to throw in spices, chopped tomatoes and kidney beans. Kids eat rice? Yep. Good. Mm. And that's ready in no time. After 10 minutes, everything's ready to be served up. So that's pretty much it. Right, Fabulous. do you want to tuck into that? Looking forward to and it. And the verdict? <laughs> Start them gently. Mm. Lovely. Very nice. Good, okay. love that. It's good. Bingo. Matt scored with his healthy hot pot. So this meal, in terms of saturated fat, there's only 5.5 grams in here, and it's almost half. Wow, that's a lot less. Back over at JC's HQ, the Michelin Award-winning chef needs to turn up the heat on his new kitchen hands. My version of recipe is baked mushrooms with ricotta and parmesan. JC's trick is to use ricotta cheese. It's got a third of the calories of regular cheddar. Therefore, not too much fat, obviously. Mm -hmm. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm using a spray. Yeah. JC adds a good dash of pepper, garlic, and a grating of nutmeg to the shallots. Always use some spice. Perfect. Then he throws in a handful of fresh spinach, which wilts in the pan. Pop the whole lot in the blender. What we do now is to introduce the ricotta cheese. Bang! JC adds the mushrooms to the pan to brown and cleverly steams them to cook them. Steam, Steam. them. It's quick. That goes in oven for five minutes. That's it. Bon appétit. So, what's the verdict on this healthy version? Taste of lemon. Especially with Mark, who's the full fat fat. No. No. Not at all. Didn't notice, didn't no. miss it. Amazing, huh? Our two families have had a culinary crash course. Tomorrow, they're up against each other to cook a two-course meal at our London restaurant. So you guys are going to be cooking for 40 diners. Okay? What? Yes. The diners will be voting to find out which one of the family 
is the best. Wow. In, in at the deep end. And, and it's sink or swim. I'm more nervous for the people who are going to be eating our food. <laughs> That's what I feel worried about. Flunk it and the chefs will face humiliation. Whoa. Crack it and the winning couple will get a year's supply of healthy groceries. Okay. Winning is my motto, and especially against smart, it's not going to be a big deal. This smart London restaurant is about to host a battle royal. Top chefs Jean-Christophe Novelli and Matt Tebbett are training calamitous cooks to go up against each other to cater for 40 diners. Wow. wow. Scary. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's go and get started. The diners will taste both teams' dishes and vote for their favourites. You up for this? Yeah. yeah. Right, good. Bring it on. Handing one team victory and the other the wooden spoon. I really want to beat Jean Christophe and his team this week, and I think we can. Templates laid out Winning is my motto, nice. and especially against Matt, it's not going to be a big deal. Kitchen knives at the ready, let the food fight begin. Right, what we're going to cook today is tenderloin of pork on a nice potatoes and apple mash. Pudding, we're going to make a strawberry and vanilla parcel pancakes. Wow. With an extraordinary low-fat vanilla ice cream. Rack of lamb and cheesecake. Who doesn't like that? Ooh. Premier League performance. Yeah. So, for tonight's menu, Jean-Christophe's pork tenderloin with cider sauce is taking on Matt's rack of lamb and ratatouille, followed by JC's strawberry pancakes and Matt's low-fat lemon and lime cheesecake. Matt's up first to demo his dish. The rack of lamb. They've got lovely yeah. new seasons lamb here. We've taken a lot of the fat off. It's going to bring down the calories, all right? Matt bastes the meat with thyme, mint, lemon zest and garlic. He adds a tiny dash of oil. The more you massage the meat, the better it'll taste. And browns the lamb in a pan. In with the lamb. OK. So that's the sort of brown you want. Then the lamb goes into a hot oven and it's onto the ratatouille. And roasting this, rather than frying, obviously you're going to save yourselves heaps of calories, something like 100 per serving. Yeah. All right? Great. Good. Now Matt scores the spuds and bastes them in a sunflower spread and rosemary. Yeah. Rosemary. No salt, though, yeah? In the oven. How long for his lamb? Okay. 20 minutes. OK. Yes. Out comes the lamb. It's really important, though, you let it relax. And finally, the gravy. Matt reduces some red wine, stock and red currant jelly in a pan. I do like this flavour, actually. One last thing. Matt separates the rack of lamb into cutlets. Right. Very nice. On. So one, two, three. One, Quick. two... Three. Perfect. So, uh, good. No more questions? Uh... Yeah, millions, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> good. Think yeah. you're going to win with that? God, yeah. That's Go obviously... to Team Tevin. Fighting talk from the Merrin family, but Andrew, whose philosophy is can't cook, won't cook, has a fallback um, plan. We know that we're against the couple who also can't cook, <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to give it our best shot. Right. Are you OK? Yes, yeah. we're Are you fine. ready to learn the, the dishes? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. uh, yes, in the other corner, there's Denise, who microwaves almost everything. We're using very tender loin of pork, mm -hmm. and also it's very lean, so it's no fat. Yeah, it's yes, yeah, no fat. Lean. It's superb. For his tenderloin of pork, JC begins by seasoning the medallions and flattens out each piece. Who are you thinking about? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> then the thin medallions are coated in flour. We want that to look like it's been roasted and lightly fried. How do we know that that's cooked in the middle? Well, good question. Look yes. at the juice coming yeah, up. That means basically 85% of the meat Still is cooked. Fine. Time to do the garnish. Jean-Christophe cooks onions, mushrooms and fresh herbs. And you can see already now, this is smelling superb. Yes, smells lovely. This is, now, this is looking dry, and the most common things that people do is to put more oil. oil yeah. Yeah. Now you watch my tip. To avoid frying with oil, JC steams the vegetables. And you ready for that? Yeah. One, two, three. Look yeah. at this beauty. Oh, yeah. Now for the speciality sauce. And we're going to do like a sweet and sour situation. Honey, cider and stock are reduced in a pan. Hello, yes. Wow. <laughs> Add some low-fat creme fraiche and a pinch of mustard. Don't boil the cream, otherwise you split the cream. Voila. <laughs> Even though you say it yourself. Now mash up the spuds. It's to add the sauce and the garnishes on the top. And serve with steamed vegetables. Now, if you're telling me this is not a winning dish... Oh, that looks fantastic, doesn't yeah. it? And that's it. I can't say more, I can't do more, and I don't wish to do more. Do you feel capable to serve all these different elements in a sand plate for 40 diners? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think we can do that. Really, Denise? 
Oh, master of the microwave? No, I'm not that confident. When you think you're faced with 40 diners out there waiting for hot, fresh, lovely, well-presented food, that is really, really daunting. Across the kitchen, Matt doesn't think JC's dish is daunting at all. I think Jean-Christophe's pork dish, um, it's a bit school dinnery. In just half an hour, the restaurant will be filled with 40 discerning diners. Front of house is Liz Reese, who knows she has to serve each diner with two dishes at the same time. So, you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Let's go. Go, let's go. Excellent. Right, let's get organised. Okay. I know I need to yeah. do the pork. You know what I'm you're doing? I'm doing the mash. Come on, we'll, we'll... That's fine, yeah. yeah we'll mix, in. mix, mix. The is obviously on the ball and together they're good. How's the pork coming out? Smells lovely. Smells better than that lamb. Yeah, right. <laughs> you watch out. Our lamb is looking lovely in. OK, guys, it's 20 minutes to service, please. Are we all clear? Yep. JC's team is pulling together, but on Matt's team, is Andrew starting to slack? There's a heck of a lot of aubergines to cut. Can I get a chair for Andrew, please? <laughs> it's getting hot in the kitchen. He's beginning to lose it. Oh! What's the matter? Watch the face. It's ever so hot here. I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> the house is all steamed up. <laughs> Ow! Yeah. Like a new had to shut the oven. And Sinead's taking the flag. Do you know what you're doing? Sinead is really sort of throwing herself into it. And then when you've got uh, four ready to go... Knife? I'll take them over there and we'll do the lamb, yeah? yeah uh, Andrew's a little bit more relaxed about life. Yeah. Oh, do we do it like bring Run the lamb that on? by me again? Oh, man. They're intense. Are you ready? Yeah. Now it's got to be kept hot. Hey, chefs, we're ready. Oh, look, here they come. Are you ready? Time's up. Ready? Both teams must deliver the goods. Come on, they're starving out there. We are ready. I've got to go. Go, go, go. Okay. No problem, John. That first plate there is a shocker. Is it? It's the moment of truth. Will the dishes make the grade with the diners and the couple's kids? I need more plates out, more plates. Four, four at a time, yeah, not three. The dish that I preferred the most was the lamb. I think I prefer things here tonight than at home. So, it's a thumbs-up from Sinead's brood, and at the rival table, Todd rates the lamb too. I thought the lamb was really nice because it was it's really like, juicy. That's 13 more for you, John Christoph. 13. And uh, loads more from you, Matt. Sinead, I need you to be really careful on this sauce, yeah? Yeah, Get I am, out. yeah. But while Matt's team struggle to hold it together. It's the last one. That's the one to win. JC's team serves up the last of the pork and cider sauce. But we pretty much organised ourselves and said, right, yeah. you do that, you do that, and just focused on one yeah. thing rather than flapping about what each other's doing. What's that? Two more, two now. more now. We got two more now. Two more now. You said two it. more four plates ago. Yeah. Finally, the last lamb dish is out the door. It's time for the diners to cast their votes. Uh, that service for me, it could have been a little sort of better presented. Andrew was uh, quite casual. Um, there, was, there wasn't a sense of urgency there. Andrew's blissfully unaware he caused the backlog. Well, do you, do How do you think you did? Oh, great! I've just said 40 You're not people! Ever the optimist, no? well I said 40 people! Well I landed! That was unbelievable! I never thought I could do that. Time for Liz to reveal the winner of the main course. Whoa. And I can tell you that Jean Christophe's tenderloin pork has received 26 votes. Oh. That's not good. So that makes Denise and Mark yes. the winners of the main course. Yes. Of the main course. I think what was right with the team is the fact that they've actually worked very well together. I'm really shell-shocked about that result. I really thought the lamb was delicious and it silenced me a bit, which is a first, really. <laughs> OK, listen up. It's not over. No, it's not no, over. It's not, yeah. it's not defeat just no. yet, all right? Now for round two. Healthy, simple desserts made from low-fat dairy ingredients. I think it needs a little bit more juice. Mm. Really good. All right with that? Limping by on just 14 votes, Matt's team needs to win over 65% of the dessert round with their cheesecake. How are we going to pull this back? Are you religious? Juice? Yeah. Start, Start praying. praying. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I haven't given up at all. I feel as though this cheesecake will win us through. Just do like this. Across the kitchen... Look at his beauty, look at her! JC's team is riding high as they turn out the strawberry pancakes. Personally, I'd be gutted if yeah, we, if we lost. Absolutely. We've got two different sauces, which are the weapons. OK, guys, ten minutes, please. Hello? Ten. JC's well-old machine begins serving up pancakes. 
A bit quicker, more mango. Okay. Yes, huh? chef. Thank you yes, very chef. much for yes, answering chef. me. Come on, guys. While Andrew and Sinead start to get their act together. Right, hold on, we just need to get some sprinkles on that one. Okay, yes. keep it going, guys. Come on. One last push, and Matt's team churns out the last cheesecake. Yay! Well, oh, well, oh. Good luck. <laughs> and as the 40th pancake leaves the kitchen, JC's team starts to celebrate. You deserve the kiss and the congratulations. I'm very pleased. Everything now rides on the diners' votes for the winning dessert. I really hope that the cheesecake is a favourite out there, otherwise this is going to be a landslide victory for the red team. It's crunch time. To stand a chance of winning the contest, Matt's team has to score at least 26 votes for their dessert. I can tell you that Matt's lemon cheesecake has received 28 votes. Yeah! Unbelievable. The comeback kids have scored with a cheesecake. And with a two-vote lead, it's clear who the winners are. And the winner of a year's supply of healthy groceries goes to Matt's team. <laughs> it is unbelievable oh, that we won. I can't believe we've won. Fantastic. What a reverse of fortunes that was. The cheesecake really hit home. Definitely didn't take it for granted that we win. No. But it did come as a bit of a shock. Yeah. I think from this moment on, we've certainly gained choices on how to cook healthy foods, and I think days of sausage, chips and beans are out the door. Pull up a seat, big man. <laughs> well, I'm just shocked. I think the pork deserves to win, and I don't think your dish deserves to win. French-England final. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're jumping about. <laughs>